So for those of you not familiar with LEMS, Lambert Eaton, blah 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 syndrome, it's a real sweetheart to live with. <laughs> Walking, talking, breathing, chewing, swallowing, everything to do with your muscles, I'm pretty much hindered. Uh, climbing steps, sitting down, standing up, knees, everything. We've been on this uh, drug since 2013, 14, 3, 4, DAP. Big long name to it. Us in the uh, world that use it, we just we just call it 3, 4, DAP. So 3, 4, DAP was a trial basis uh, for many, many years. And uh, there were rumors that there was something across the pond, I'm in the United States, coming on the horizon. Uh, that they were taking over their third laps, something like that. No, not much thought was given to it by, by anybody. <clears throat> um, basically, you sign up for the program here in the States, you do your blood work and EKGs and stuff, and um, of course, be proven to have Lambert Eaton syndrome, which I do, and they would supply you with 3 4 DAP compassionate use basis. Now, us with Lambert Eaton, we have to be on medicine every couple hours. There's there's no way around it. You never get better and you can get worse. Um, it's not just a daily fight, it, it's almost an hourly fight. Um, you'll take your medicine three hours later you're weak whether you like it or not. That's just how this syndrome is. Take more medicine. You feel okay for an hour. Lips tingle, you know it's working. You could climb steps with a banister and maybe somebody helping you or down the steps sideways holding the banister. That's about it. Um, and then that wears off and you can barely get out of your chair to walk over to the bathroom. So not only is it a mind game, uh, you know, you, you every couple hours know that you're going to get weak. No matter what in life you are doing. And you need this chemical to keep you moving every three and a half hours. My last dose as an example is 1130 at night. I can't take any more till 6 a.m. So about 130, 2 o'clock in the morning it wears off and you sit there and you struggle all night to breathe and uh, even of course move in your bed. You know you're waking up during the night having a hard time breathing and uh, you throw the O2 sensor on the finger just to make sure your O2 is good so you don't go into a panic attack and end up in a stinking hospital. It's, it's a real fun syndrome to have. So anyway, back to the story here. The 3 4 DAP has helped us get to that point at least the past couple of years. Well, magically, we all got these letters and it seems I'm not the only one. Okay, this one is from Penn State health, my neurologist down Penn State Hershey. Dear Mr. Blah, 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 as you likely know, a new form of DAP known as FIRD APS, F-I-R-D, A-P-S-E, manufactured by Catalyst, has been approved by the FDA. Once it is on the market, we are prohibited by federal law here we go, politics bullshit. We are prohibited by federal law from distributing DAP free of charge as we do now. So again, all back-end bullshit government payoffs is now going to screw the whole Lambert Eaton Syndrome community into having another drug to purchase every month. Okay, I take Mestinon with my DAP. It is tripled over the past three years. I'm on disability. I make about one-fifth of my freaking income. And now to live, to survive, to breathe, to talk, to make these videos, to have a voice. I'm lucky I have a voice now. I've only taken my medicine an hour ago. By 8.30, 9 o'clock, my voice will be very scratchy and it will be very light because the medicine's wearing off. So anyway... 
the manufacturer catalyst has pledged to work with all affected patients to make sure they can receive FIRDAPS, F-I-R-D, A-P-S-C. People are calling it FIRD LAPS, whatever. I'm just giving you the correct statement here. The F-I-R-D, A-P-S-C. Even if finances are a problem. Let's read that again. The manufacturer, Catalyst, has pledged to work with all affected patients to make sure they can re receive FIRD apps even if finances are a problem. Please note that the highest dose that can be prescribed is 80 mg per day. This may be effective even if you are on a higher dose of DAP. We'll need to monitor to see if exceptions can be made. We anticipate, we anticipate for apps will be available in early 2019. In preparation for this, you'll need to complete some paperwork. Please complete, complete parts one, two of the papers that are enclosed. Then sign on page one, check boxes on page two, and sign page two. Mail the form back to our office, blah, 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 blah. We will fax to Catalyst, who will contact you to get the medication to you. If you have not heard back from Catalyst in two weeks, please give us a call. So, basically, whether you like it or not, you're going to be on a new drug, because the FDA said so. You're going to pay for it, because that's how it works. And magically, you're going to find the money who knows where. I mean, honestly, being on disability with this freaking syndrome has destroyed everybody that's on its life. I can no longer go fishing or make my fishing videos. I can no longer go hunting. I can no longer go do too much shooting unless I... I can no longer do 89% of the photography I used to do uh, for, for good side money. Um, I can't take a tech support job because, you know... Even if I sat in a wheelchair all day, every couple hours I'd be on medicine and, and tired. I couldn't even do my duty. I couldn't take an at-home work job because, again, every couple hours I lose my voice. I get weak. I have to go lay down. Uh, physical job anymore. Forget it. I mean, I, I take a, a, a screwdriver and try to put a screw in the wall. By the time the screw's in the wall, my arm is locked to the screwdriver. I could barely get my arm and, and hand off the screwdriver, and, and I'm so weak I got to go sit down. So, you know, and, and then to say, oh, sorry, now we know you can't work. We know you're on disability. We know your life is hell every three and a half, four hours when you got to take your medicine. You're, you're beat. You're, you're, you know, pretty much immobilized. Um, now you got to find money to pay for another drug. You know, th this is the beautiful system that we have here in the United States. And um, I'm just at a loss. Now, again, the other part is the 80 milligrams a day. I currently take 100 milligrams at a DAP. My schedule is 6 a.m., 20 milligrams. 9.30 a.m., 15 milligrams. 1 p.m., 15 milligrams. 4.30 p.m., we take 20 milligrams again so we can eat dinner and have enough strength to swallow our damn food. 8 p.m., take a 15 milligram, and at 11.30 p.m., take another 15. So, that's 100. If this new drug is more powerful, maybe instead of taking two at 6 a.m. to get me up and out of bed, I'll be taking one and a half. I mean, and then I'll be cutting down the 1 o'clock, the 9.30 and the 1 to 1. The 4.30 probably will go back to one and a half. Then I'm going to have to cut down the 8 and 11.30 back to 1. But this is what we don't know. Did the 3-4 DAP from the other pharmaceutical company that we've been taking for years have more inert ingredients to make the pill than this new stuff? You know, I mean, nothing is 100% pure, pure because, you know, they got a compact to pill at the whole nine yards. But there's a lot to be known about this that we got to find out. I'm sorry, there's not a lot known about this. There's a lot we need to find out. Um, I, I'm not understanding why this is hitting us like this. The, the whole community is in an uproar. Have questions. Again, people across the pond have been on it for years, but their system is different over there than, than what we have. I remember when I was first being put on a DAP. Oh, yeah, we'll have you getting up and down those steps in a week. Yeah, you'll be walking up the steps without a banister in a week. You'll be doing cartwheels in the yard. <laughs> sure. Back in 2012, 
It's before I got sick with this. Yeah. Yeah, I could run up the steps, do cartwheels off the steps, you know, do a swan dive off the roof. Not a big deal. I'm just saying, I, I had no physical problems. Uh, doesn't work that way anymore. So my question to you guys is, what do you think? Um, what do you think of this 3-4 DAP and this FERD, FERD apps? It's not FERD apps, it's F-I-R-D-A-P-S-E, FERD apps change. Have you done it yet? Are you nervous about it? I mean, if it's the same chemical, we just got to take less. Maybe it won't be too bad. Maybe it's a little more potent mixture, what we don't need as much. And uh, maybe they'll stick to their guns and let us actually get it for free. I doubt it. Every business is in business to make money. Pharmaceutical, pharmaceutical companies are the worst in that respect. Um have you seen, you know, as you've seen in the news the past couple of years, these young CEOs getting these companies and, you know, prices increase thousands of times. So they're here to make money, you know, and they say, oh, well, all the research costs money and we need to pay our researchers. Well, I'll tell you what, the other pharmaceutical company that was providing us this 3 4 debt for many years, research was already done. So... The problem we're going to have here is we can't stand against the government. The right to try law doesn't apply to us because it's not something new and innovative, I guess, the 3 4 DAP that we're already on. But uh, it would be nice if the right to try law actually was also right to choice. Or we can say, look, why should I pay for the same chemical that's, and I can take less when I'm getting this chemical for free? I'm already on it for five years. I could take a little more dose, and I'm already into a schedule with it. You know, it's not like an opioid or anything. You know, it's not like you're addicted to it. All it does is enable your body to be a little stronger so you can stand the hell up. So I can talk. So I can make these videos. You know, it doesn't do much for us. You take your DAP, 20 minutes later, your top lip tingles a little bit. And when you grab onto something, you actually have a grip. That's it. You don't get high. You don't get anything else. You get a little bit of a lip tingle. I do every dose. And I'm able to grab grab things better. I'm able to stand up easier, pushing myself up still with my hands, but stand up easier. And uh, able to breathe. And uh, I can talk, walk, and breathe. And I can swallow. You know, I get up at 5 a.m. And when it's the 6 a.m. time to take my dap, because I have to wait till 6 I have a water bottle on my side stand that I take my medicine with. I can barely loosen that cap on that water bottle at 6 a.m. because all the medicine is out of my body from 11.30 at night. You know, so you take the DAP at 6 and by 6.18, 6.25, you're actually getting some strength where you can actually sit up in bed, push yourself up with your hands, hobble across the room holding onto the wall with one hand, Hollow down the hall, and if the medicine doesn't work some days, I drop to my butt, and I come down the, the steps like a little kid on my butt. If the medicine works okay, I pin my left shoulder to the side of the wall and come down the steps one by one very stiff-legged. So, my issue again is, why do they force us to change to this new medicine how does the government have the power to do this and, and affect thousands and thousands of people? And why don't we have a choice as patients that have already been on another medicine that's working for us for free? You know, it's, and then what's going to happen to you guys that the companies aren't going to cover this new drug off the bat? Are you going to be forced to go to plasmapheresis or whatever it's called or IVIG? Or start increasing your cell sap or immuran or toxin. See, there's other things to this that, that people are on. There's IVIG. Big money. Hundreds of thousands of dollars a month for your treatment. It did nothing for me. I was on it for a year and a half. Some people IVIG help. Some people they don't. Then there's this plasmapheresis or paresis. I can't pronounce it right. Where... You know, it's it's a, a like a kind of basically like a dialysis that sometimes helps people, that sometimes does not. 
when you first get diagnosed with LEMS, the first thing they try till they get you situated is regular prednisone, high dose, 80 milligrams a day, 60, 80 a day. Definitely a lot. Oh, yeah, you're strong. You're better. You're eating like crazy. Your bones are getting brittle, but it only lasts a couple months. And then you got to taper off it for years so you don't screw up your adrenal gland. So prednisone is out. Then they want to combine some cell sep in there, which is immunosuppressant, which can cause all kind of quick deadly cancers, fungal infections of the brain. Then you have Imuran, another product for a whole different deal. It's another immunosuppressant, which is very highly dangerous. And then you have Rotuxan. People have died within 30 seconds of taking Rotuxan. So we don't have much of a choice. You know, I'm on the 3-4 DAP and liquid Mestadon because with the Lambert eating your week, you can't swallow. So some people are lucky enough to not have the, the swallowing effect of too bad or they could take a Mestadon pill. I have to take a Mestadon suspension liquid, so that means I'm paying a hell of a hot, lot higher copay for that. So bottom line, to have this new drug forced down our throat, literally, because that's where we have to take it, and all of us being told now we got to run into insurance scurry mode to see if it's going to be covered. And by the way, you're going to start taking it next month. That's just not right. So leave your comments down below if you have Lambert Eaton syndrome. I like to hear from everybody out there. And um, I really want to know, you know, what your true thoughts are on this. If you're on this Fertilaps or Fertaps, is it really that good? If you're on DAP like me, do you find it does help? Are you excited to change? Or do you really want to stick with your old 3-4 DAP? So leave the comments down below. I'm running out of breath. I really don't got much more to say, but uh, I'd like to hear your comments.